Hi, I'm Josh Keshin, an account manager focused on programmatic media. Prior to working at Google, I worked in both programmatic and ad operations roles at several agencies, and have trafficked a lot of campaigns in CM360 over the years. I'm going to jump into the platform and give you an overview of some of the key features. As you may have seen in the first video, Campaign Manager 360, or CM360, was built to address the challenges that modern marketers face in executing digital campaigns of scale while minimizing the time and resources needed to run these campaigns. CM360 provides a number of tools to manage and traffic ads, measure media delivery and performance, and conduct ad verification, such as viewability and brand safety. I'm going to start with showing you how to manage and traffic ads. The hierarchy of CM360 is network. This is where all of your advertisers sit under. Think of this of your account level view. Then advertiser. This is where you can create audiences, set up conversion pixels, which we call floodlight tags, and control your integrations with other tools in the GMP stack. Once your advertiser is set up, you can create your campaigns, which can be set up any way you choose. Some advertisers like to set up evergreen ones for the quarter or year, and others will set them up for flighted campaigns, such as product launch or seasonal sales. Once you create your campaigns, you'll add in your placements, example, run of site or card abandoners, and assign your creatives to them. When we first log in, we'll see all of our campaigns that have been set up, past, live, and upcoming will all live in this view. To jump into one and see the placements and creatives, just click on the campaign name. In the Advertiser tab, we can set up new floodlights and assign custom variables to track additional data, such as the product being viewed or purchased, page visited, etc. Setting them up is as easy as filling in a few fields. Once they are set up, they can be pushed seamlessly to Google Tag Manager or downloaded to be manually added to the site or another tag management solution. You can set these up as counter, which will collect visits, or sales tag, which will allow you to track revenue from web, app, or offline sales. Floodlights not only track conversions, but also allow you to create audiences. You can choose to create an audience off of all floodlight fires, or you can leverage the custom variables to create audiences off of specific actions. For example, a retailer can be capturing the category of the product the users look at, such as shoes, and then create an audience off of users who viewed any product in the shoe category. Speaking of floodlights and conversions, CM360 also gives you the flexibility to choose how conversions are attributed. Within the Advertiser Settings section, you can manage the attribution settings for your account. Within that, you can select the attribution modeling strategy that best suits you. To choose the one you'd like to make the primary one used, click the checkbox next to a model, then click Make Primary to change it to your primary model. The attribution model you choose as primary will be the default for all line items associated with the floodlight. This will also inform bid optimization within Display and Video 360, creative optimization within Campaign Manager 360, and conversion reporting for both tools for the line items leveraging that floodlight. The model can be changed from a default to a different model for individual line items by going into line items and then conversion tracking. When creating a new attribution model, you have a number of settings you can customize. To start, create a new model. First, configure your attribution model. We have a number to choose from, including last touch, first touch, DDA, and more. Second, choose how you want to give credit for view-through conversions. You can choose to include all impressions, limit to viewable impressions, where only viewable impressions will be included in the model. Limit to engage views and viewable impressions, where all video impressions are included, and view-through conversions are counted for video if they meet your engage view criteria. Only viewable impressions are included for display. Next, in one of the most important steps, you can choose whether you want Campaign Manager to model conversions for when third-party cookies or mobile device IDs are not present. This is a critical feature in filling in attribution gaps when these identities are not available. Last, you can choose whether you want conversions from this attribution model sent to ADH for more complex advanced analysis. All of your creatives get stored at the advertiser level, whether you upload it at this level or in a campaign. To upload a creative, you click on New, and then select what type of creative you'd like to upload. We're going to look at uploading a video file. First step is to give your file a name. Then, you scroll down to Add Asset and upload your file. If you have a companion banner, you could upload it in the Companion Creative section. Once your file is finished uploading, you'll notice that there are now multiple serving files. After you load your file, CM will detect whether your uploaded video asset satisfies the video requirements for the key publishers in the Video Specification Library. Validate the asset and transcode it into a set of serving files. 
This feature allows you to just upload one version of the creative, and CM360 will transcode to multiple files so it can be used across multiple partners who have different specs. This saves you a lot of time by not having to cut and traffic multiple versions of the file out. The other part of CM360 is reporting. When you first get to CM reporting, you will see a summary of all of your current activity. You can filter or click on any of these fields to drill down more granularly. You can adjust the dates you want to look at and even compare two different time periods. You can also, at a glance, change the metrics you're looking at. When you need more detail, you can head over to the Report Builder tab. This is where you can build custom reports. These reports are highly customizable, enabling you to choose exactly the items you want to report on, the precise date range, and the metrics you need to understand your campaign's performance. You can also view existing reports that have been created, as well as saved outputs from existing reports. Instant reporting allows you to see data immediately, instead of waiting for a report to run and then downloading the file for offline viewing. Instant reports can be a single use or save for later, and also made into visualizations like bar and pie charts. Instant reporting is used by a lot of my clients to set up snapshots of their campaigns. I work with a lot of performance marketers who are constantly making updates and optimizations, and having these instant reports ready to go is a huge time saver, allowing them to spend more time on optimizing and less time on setting up and running reports. For more complex reports, or when you need to pull for a longer time period, choose offline reporting. You'll find a range of reports from standard to reach and even attribution. Within each of the reports, you'll find templates preloaded with common settings. Once you choose a template, you can add in filters to narrow down to select advertisers, campaigns, or other options by selecting Add Filter. You can choose to run the report using the templates as is, or you can add or remove additional metrics or dimensions. You can even reorder them so they appear in a different order on your report. Then, once you are all set, you can run it right away or schedule to send on whatever schedule you need. You can even add in others. Verification protects the integrity of online advertising by helping marketers serve ads that are tag compliant, are served to humans and are not fraudulent, display correctly in brand safe contexts, deliver quality results. Here you can see if there are any issues with your tags, if your ads are running on unsuitable content, or out of geo, and more. You should now be familiar with Campaign Manager 360 and how to navigate through a lot of its features. For more on CM360, check out our help center at support.google.com slash marketing platform and click on the CM360 logo. You can also head over to g.co slash learn of GMP and sign up for live sessions and access the resource library for on-demand content. Please reach out to your Google rep or platform specialist to learn more or ask questions. Finally, see the video description below for links to additional resources. Thanks for watching.